it's Sarah. I am working on an ATC. This is, I got an order from your ATC store, and I've done videos on them on her before. I forget her name. Let me see if it's on here. Lisa Dawson. Um, I love, an ATC, first of all, is a little two and a half by three and a half inch card. Um, usually it's in a card form. I just made this one. This is the Wizard of Oz. Um, every single thing in this, on this ATC, which is an artist trading card, um, came in the kit. I used, I still have leftover. I have a couple other leftover things. I cut the book page in half. I'm going to put that right there on that glare. I hate the glare. My, my lights, I'm going to have to have hubby work on that. Anyhow, this one, uh, I had a piece of yellow, like, glitter paper. I didn't use that. This piece of paper here with the Wizard of Oz guys on it. Um, and this piece of paper. So I used these. A ribbon. Um, images she gave me. Look at all these images. I mean, and then I, it even comes with a little charm. This is a little witch charm. And then a couple of emerald blings. And I embossed the background, the yellow paper. <coughs> I just embossed it using um, a brick pattern. So it kind of, you know, has the yellow brick road. You can't really see it. I did, I did a little bit of um, distress ink on there and put some stickles, but uh, not stickles, um, Wink of Stella. But it's just subtle. So anyway, this is the free kit that I got. I ordered a couple, mostly, I got a winter, oh, let's see, this is just pretty in pink. This is from 2012. So she has kits on there that are from a couple years back, but I just thought it was cute. And most of them are a dollar. I think I spent, here's the receipt, I spent $16. This Crafty Secrets um, collage sheet was the most expensive thing. So I got that. Because um, I want to do an Alice in Wonderland. I want to do, I think I want to do some dominoes with Alice in Wonderland too. So we'll see. I'm kind of trying to come up with uh, a project to do. Like you could fussy cut out a lot of this stuff, T, but then you have to remember there's stuff on the back too. That's the only problem. But yeah, I got these cool charms. These are my little Alice in Wonderland rabbits. These were like 30 cents. I got two of them. They're adorable. Um, anyhow, so I was going to see if you guys wanted to do this with me. Um, I'll show you what I got. I got a steampunk one I haven't done yet. I got two December ones, which I just thought were adorable. Look at all the stuff that comes in there. Oh, I can't stand it. Too cute. And I got three winter, well, two winter ones I ordered. These are just winter this is actually the free one that I got, and it comes with um, all the stuff here that you see. I'll zoom in a little. So I got this paper, which has snowflakes on one side and sheet music on the other. This is just like really pretty satiny colored paper. This is just, I didn't get that. I, I'm gonna, this, I use this as my backing. It's just a piece of um, a file folder that I just cut down to two and a half by three and a half just to give it some make it substantial. I already cut this a little bit just to get it a little smaller. It's a beautiful little angel image. Am I in the shot? Sorry. Um, but see, so it's going to be a little bit big on there. Little applique wings, uh, uh, <coughs> a couple of ribbons, and tr this paper, like paper that you can add. Um, and some bling, some snowflakes, and this little snowflake bling, a flat back. So basically, I like to, um, this one didn't come with a charm, because if, as I learned on this, see how I, I put a brad through it, and if I would have put the brad through just the yellow paper, then I could have hidden that. So if I'm going to put a charm, because most of these come with charms. This one just comes with a brad, a snowflake brad. Um... This one has a snowflake charm. This one has a music note charm. This is adorable. This has a wreath, a wreath charm. What does the steampunk have? 
a cog or a you know a gear and two brads steampunky brads and then this one has lots of bling I don't see a charm in there but she usually puts because I've shown you guys my um, I've gotten these from her before like this little little red riding hood is too cute and look there's a little red riding hood charm um, St. Patty's Day kiss the cook hold on I'm looking for ones with charms most of them have like look a little keep calm and make coffee with a coffee pot charm I just think they're super cute look at all the buttons on this so fun get it the, these are mine I think she sent the scissors but I added buttons these are buttons because I think I made two out of that look a seashell and a fish so these are all kits from your ATC store so I don't know I just was in the mood I was <clears throat> excuse me but this is the one I was just looking at I don't know a video and I thought oh yeah and I went over and I was just like oh next thing you know I had placed an order and like I said it's 10 bucks and you can get like 10 different um, you know what I was doing here wait I lost my train of thought but there was a pink piece of paper where'd it go Geez, Sarah um, because I, I thought she would look good here it is this has like what are they um, ornaments but I think this would look good mounted on that on top of this with definitely gotta have that so yeah I mean you could I think I definitely but see I like the music too and then this is the uh, holiday wishes coming your way like I think I'm gonna cut that down a little bit too so I'll go away and get things prepared and then I'll be back okay it takes me a little bit of time to figure out where I want to put things but I'm gonna just go ahead and you know what I'm gonna um, just do the edges a little bit this is actually walnut stain Tim Holtz um, the stress ink just around the edge but I'm gonna use my ATG gun and just adhere this to um, that pink paper to give it like a frame and here's how I do it you don't have to measure or anything I'm gonna use this side of the paper because I can always use that again I just leave about an eighth of an inch on two sides and then I'm just going to eyeball it go this way and cut along the edge so now I have that framed and I might as well I'm just going to edge it a little bit with the distress ink so that will show up it is a bit big I kind of like putting this here and do I want to put this kind of seems like it could represent snow a little bit okay babe see I like that I'm making a video um, I love the wings the bling is awesome I kind of like this paper too and I I was even thinking like here's the words and the words I could back I cut it down I already cut this down because you want to it's only two and a half by three and a half inches that's oh for those of you that don't know an ATC is an artist trading card and they're meant to be traded they're kind of like you know baseball cards or you can just collect them like I do um, I actually have them in this little storage box that I made uh, I have them in a binder but anyway um, it came with this paper right so to tie in with that and the pink I could put this on there but it's a little big so I could cut the words in half and have them in two places like holiday wishes coming your way I think I'm gonna do that so that's the thing you just have to kind of decide what um, I'm gonna just trim it a little more just to make it look even because that's how I roll um, I might even trim this a little bit uh, closer because then more of the pink will show when I put it on top of the pink. 
see so that's cute and I, I'm really trying to just use what she's given me in the kit and I mean I could back this with this paper because I have a, enough left um, and that would look cute and it would match that but I figured that's a little bit of a different texture so I think it would look cool to have a, a, a little different texture on the piece too and an ATC can be anything you want you can draw it you can paint it you can this is basically collage right because I'm using different bits of pieces of paper that the ATC store put together for me she basically makes these kits which are uh, about a dollar they're really none of them are over a dollar um, and uh, then you can just play and it, it takes it takes pretty quick so I, I kind of like this too I was thinking of putting hmm somehow incorporating the music sheets too but it says holiday wishes coming your way I don't really need it not that you ever need anything and I kind of like this too like to put halfway on there I could even use this as the background and then back this picture up a little bit more with this paper, right? Nah. It's too blendy. I kind of like this, the blue as my back. Oh, I just got it all dirty, but guess what? I'll cover it up. I have a little something on my desk. Let's see if I can get that off. Pretty much, I'll cover it up. Um, so I just keep putting it, um, okay. But I do like her. She could be centered like that and then have this going across the bottom to kind of represent snow. This could go up the side. Just why not? This could actually be popped up and put on top. I like that idea better and these could be popped up too but you don't have to and I'm using my ATG gum for this little piece and that's probably wasn't the best idea because now I have glue on um, an ATG gun too for those of you who don't know it's just the advanced tape glider and it's um, double stick tape that's kind of on a roll and the machine rolls it out for you so it's kind of cool see this is the and you just try to line it up on here pull the trigger and then release the trigger and now I have glue on the back of here it's very cool not for such tiny things but when you're doing bigger things definitely and I like to use tweezers too I have my tweezers out because if you hold the paper with the tweezers it's a very good way to uh, align your piece without your big fingers getting in the way and then like I just did before I'm gonna cut there and here and I could add a little distress ink it just kind of makes it it frames it a little bit and makes it um, stand out from the background so let's see what else so I have all these components now are ready to go I think I am gonna pop this up so I think because I'm not using a brad and I don't have this I mean I could put a little brad through here I have like a heart-shaped pearl brad that might be cute but I'm not sure you know what I'll just adhere this first I'm gonna use um, Fabri-Tac Fabri-Tac's my favorite glue for anything all everything else other than paper my favorite glue for paper is um, the quick the scotch quick dry I love that for paper if I'm just doing paper um, or my ATG but for this for fabric like a piece of ribbon you just use I use Fabri-Tac and it's it holds like it does not come off uh, hot glue comes off for me sometimes so that's why I don't um, you know what I meant to do though the paper first I'm just gonna keep it off for one second I want to put this first because the um, ribbon will won't go over here very well let me use my 
and there is all types of um, adhesives out there you guys you can use oh man there are so many different adhesives um, yeah alright so I'm gonna just put that not all the way to the edge but fairly about an eighth of an inch that's my go-to and then I'm gonna put this across the bottom with an eighth of an inch approximately and then you just kind of cut off the edges. Here comes my dog. Hey, Curb. So I just flip it over, cut the little ed edges away. Get out of the trash, crazy. Get out, get out of it. And then, so this is going to get adhered to that, but for now I'm just kind of doing some fiddling so I like that I want to pop her up and I use this is great to have this mounting tape 3M I think it's called 3M mounting tape um, by Scotch I think it's by Scotch it's kinda it's usually in the stationery at like Walmart or something and I like to get this wide kind and then you can cut it to fit whatever you know whatever you're wanting it to fit so you might not need it this wide but you can cut it in half and so I'm gonna put like two pieces of this on here and it doesn't pop it up so I have other pop-up pop dots that go a little higher so now if you're making something you can have different levels of popped up but see that's popped up what else do I have I have my wings which I'm not sure about let me think so holiday wishes coming your way. We have bling and we have so holiday wishes coming your way. Hmm, I might have to put that on top of this or over here. Like something like that. Maybe I shouldn't have put that there. I think we have to go that way because it's going to be too tall to go sideways. So see, that's the thing. You kind of have to consider everything when you're doing this because, <clears throat> I mean, she gives you so many great supplies to use. And, I mean, I, for the most part, really try to use what she gives me. I try not to, like, add or embellish with my other. Some of them you can make two ATCs. So a kit for a dollar... You could actually make two out of some of them. There's like two images in there. And so then I'll add a couple of different embellishments for my own stash. So let me think what I'm, what am I doing here? I kind of lost it. I lost it because I could just put holiday wishes. I don't even need coming your way. So, I mean, you don't have to put that. I think I want to go back to this way. I like the idea of the pink being like, um, snow pink snow see that looks cute just like that um, and then I could put this bling there and a couple snowflakes right so I mean maybe this one isn't going to be as tricked out as some of them are right I could even put these snowflakes kind of underneath where they pop out more. I'm pretty sure she just punched these out of um like I know I have snowflake buttons I have a snow. Oh, look, I think I forgot this. This got away from me. The silver. I like the silver. Oh, man. Maybe I need to put that down there. Oh, sorry, I'm whispering. If I, um, yes, darn, I wish I'd have seen that, but I like it. I think I'm going to put it across the top, but see, then when I put this on there, Holiday Wishes doesn't really go across the uh, ribbon as easily as like if it was flat. I mean, I could pop it. Sorry, I'm just, I see a piece of a uh, Holiday Wishes. Could just be like that, but then maybe I should have backed it with a different color. I really like the silver. And then I could even put the wings right all right I'm gonna go away and figure it out and I'll be back okay I figured it out 
and this is what I'm doing. I added that silver ribbon. I'm gonna put this just a little catty corner, maybe a little more. Whoops. I'm trying to uh, line up these two corners. That's what I was shooting for. So that looks pretty good. But I'm going to just use Holiday Wishes and I changed the background color to green instead of the pink because I'm going to put it, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to move my camera, um, up by the pink ribbon up here. I'm just going to hang it off the edge of that. But I'm going to put these wings because they were just too cute to not use. I'm going to put them like right above, just kind of centered on there with this in the middle. And that's it. And I put a, um, I could put a bling in the middle of each of them, I think. But that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So let's see. Do I want to, uh, what kind of glue? I think this because it's nice and tacky. Just going to put it on the corner of that and just, I like to use the um, tweezers because then I can line it up how I want it. And I like that it's kind of in the middle, oops, get off there, in the middle of the ribbon, like lined up that way. And then I'm going to use this and center this. Which way do I want it to go? I think I want this side. I ordered these from them before from her before too. I forgot about that, but I have some of these little applique wings somewhere in my stash. So this is just going to get centered on here. And then this, maybe I should nope, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac. Told you I love Fabri-Tac. Fabri-Tac right in the middle of there like it um, and that could be done I actually put it on the back of um, I just like to mount it on a harder cardboard um, and I just use that piece of the paper there to put the holiday wishes so that's basically it but doesn't it look good with the um, I like the silver I'm glad I added the silver and I think I'm gonna add I'm gonna try and add you know what I could add stickles just some silver. I think silver stickles would be very good. You know I love my stickles and I have like every color. Well, I think I do. Yep, I have silver. I'm going to put silver in the center of this little guy. And this was just like a blue snowflake. He's kind of like the same color as the background paper. And then this is more like a, <clears throat> it's kind of like I, I want to say Harlequin, but I'm not sure. Should I put another one? I mean, that would be cute right there, right? All right, I think I have to put that right there. It doesn't really need it. But I think I'm going to. Um, so that's it, you guys. So what do you think? I think it's awesome. And... They have them for all the holidays and um, all lots of different themes and stuff like that. I'll put a little stickles on that. And just for an afternoon of fun or, you know, so I've already done two. I did this little one. I'm not going to touch him because he has uh, stickles on him. So these took me like an hour because you have everything. You don't have to gather up any supplies or anything. So this one is going to go with uh, this one. Look, I have a January kit. See the little angel in there? So I'll have a couple of them. And I may even have another little angel. I don't know. But anyway, there, there's just, you name it. I think they have, I have a couple of by the sea ones, mermaid, sewing, coffee, coffee. See, here's another pretty in pink. And it's different from this pretty in pink. But there's just a bunch of pink stuff, pink and black. But it's different, so I'm excited about that. I had a feeling I knew I had, um, and I didn't think I had any snow ones. So that's why I ordered the snow ones. 
um, and she has other like you can order like I said these little wings I know she has the applique wings um, charms like I said because I ordered the little um, Alice in Wonderland I have two of them because I thought well I think I might just use him on a charm uh, I mean make a charm for him he's just too cute to use on an ATC but um all right you guys I enjoyed this see it makes me happy you see how happy I'm getting so it's uh, Lisa Dawson it's your ATC store your ATC store there it is I'll put it in the description box all right thanks for watching